Well, as a lot of you know, you know, Beaver County and the Pittsburgh area is known for its sports and athletics. Indeed, we have a wonderful attestation to literally all of sports, basketball, baseball, football. We've got Pete Maravich from Aliquippa. We've got Joe Namath from Beaver Falls. We've got Mike Ditka from Aliquippa. We've got Ty Law from Aliquippa, Sean Gilbert from Aliquippa. I mean, the list goes on. I know I'm gonna leave out a few here and I'm doing it on a purpose because I just want to get to the video, but you get where I'm going with this. And they all have contributed enormously to sports as we know it and, you know, to community clout as we know it as well. But before all those guys, there was somebody else that not too many of you probably even know about. Or not too many. In fact, most of you probably never even heard of him. Now, I've done a story on this gentleman before. I never posted it on my website. I posted it on the historical Facebook pages of Beaver County. And I think I... I think I put one on Instagram somewhere, but we're going to go and talk about a fellow named Tom McCreary. Now, Tom McCreary was born October 19th in 1874, same year that um, the great Hannes Wagner was born. He was an outfielder for the major leagues, and he was a pitcher as well. He played for the Louisville Colonels from 1895 to 1897. He played for the New York Giants from 1897 to 1898, and he played for the Pittsburgh Pirates from 1898 to 1900. The Brooklyn, the Brooklyn, excuse me, the Brooklyn Super Bowls from 1901 to 1903, and he finished his major league career with the Boston Bean Eaters in 1903, which is the same year that the uh, first World Series took place that Pittsburgh was in with Hannes Wagner, and I'm happy to report that they lost because. McCreary finished out his major league career in Boston. Not that that's a bad thing, because I'm a big Boston Red Sox fan. But still, you know, it's, it's the principle, guys. It's the principle. Now, what's even more interesting here is his major league record is extraordinary for its time. Now, you have to understand, this is a time in Beaver County, even in the Pittsburgh area, where teams are just getting started. Traditions are being assembled. And nobody has any idea what's to come. And a lot of things happened in those years, right? Right after Hannes Wagner and all the great baseball players after him, same with the Pittsburgh Steelers and so on. But this guy, he was born here in Beaver. And in 1897, well, let me, let me, let me clock back here. Go to, in 1896, he starts he switched outfield and he responded by uh, having a uh, 351 batting average. He had 65 home runs. He had 91 runs, 26 stolen bases, and he had a five, he had his slugging, his slugging average turned to 546. That's just astounding. I mean, it's an, by 1897, his career posted highlights was 91 runs batted in, 21 stolen base, no, excuse me, 28 stolen bases, 67 RBIs, 138 games played, and he finishes it with an average of a, uh, a batting average of 289. You got to remember what time period this is in, too. You know, this is a very early period in baseball, very early. I mean, he, you know, he, play, he starts playing for the Pirates in the 1800s, for goodness sake. I mean, come on, give the guy, give him some credit here. And here's something, in July 12th, I don't know which stadium he did this in, but he hit three inside the park home runs, and he became the only major league player in baseball history to hit three inside homers in one single game. He played part of his seven seasons with the New York Giants, the Pittsburgh Pirates, and the Brooklyn Super Bowls, hitting 323 for Pittsburgh in 1899. 323, guys. And again, he played his final Major League Baseball game in 1903 in Boston with the Boston Bean Eaters. No offense again to you guys in Boston. In a nine season career, McCreary was a 289 hitter, he had 27 home runs and 388 RBIs in 802 games. 802, guys. So, 
To conclude all of these achievements respectfully, I am going to show you where Mr. Mercury's last and final resting place is, and it's right here. Right here, you're gonna have to see a shadow here, and I'm sorry about that, that's my big head. But this is where Mr. Mercury's laid to rest. Here's his grave, right there. He's buried, of course, with his family. I mean, those kind of stats, ladies and gentlemen, for that time period in baseball is just astounding. What's even more fascinating is I wonder what kind of stories he could tell about Hannes Wagner. He played with Hannes Wagner. He knew Hannes Wagner. And I'm sure he had plenty of anecdotes to share about Hannes Wagner. But unfortunately, those stories are never going to see the light of day. I don't know if they were ever preserved. I don't know if any history here in the local vicinity where... Mr. McCreary shared any kind of stories whatsoever with Hannes Wagner. He may have done. Maybe in, he might be mentioned briefly somewhere in some newspaper article. I don't know. But I sure would love to know what he thought of Hannes Wagner. Can you imagine what he could tell us? I mean, just think about it for all you baseball fanatics out there like myself. Baseball is my favorite sport. This is why I'm doing this video because I'm paying homage to this man because he is truly the first big athlete in our area. He certainly is. And nobody even knows him today. And everybody should know him. And this is why I'm making the video. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe. I'd love to hear your stories. Let me know about the very first time you went to a baseball game. The very first time I did was in 1977. Three Rivers Stadium. I saw Willie Sturgill at bat. I still have that in my memory as plain as day. It was a wonderful experience. Willie Sturgill was a very big hitter for the Pittsburgh Pirates in my time. It was amazing. I'll never forget it as long as I live. My father took me. In later years here, Mr. McCreary um, was an alumni of Georgetown University, and he did serve as the head coach of the University of Pittsburgh's ball club in 1912. Mr. McCreary died in July 3rd, 1941. Only the dates are on his stone, but not the days in which he died, so I'm telling you. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe. I'd love to hear what you think. I hope you enjoyed the story. Let me know if you'd like to hear more like this. We have quite a few athletes in this town. I did one of the uh, famous basketball player who's buried over on that side over there. And uh, you can watch that video. And let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next one. It's a beautiful fall day and I'm going to enjoy the rest of this day. Stay safe, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe.